first things first, happy new year. I hope everyone had an amazing new year. Next on the agenda, I have to introduce you to the newest member of my family. This is Pixie. Say hi. Say hi. She actually loves me. I don't know if she knows it yet, but she loves me. Come here, Pixie. Look it. Say hi. So this is Pixie, also known as Pixie Lou, Pixie Sticks, Fluffball. There's just a lot of names for her. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I actually announced her on there and gave a little story of how I found her. But basically, long story short, I actually, my sister found her. So my sister found her in the middle of a country road. They were driving, she was in the middle of the road and my sister had like, well it was actually my brother-in-law who swerved out of the way and they pulled over and my sister ran out into the middle of the road and saved her. She was like only four weeks old. This is a picture of what she looked like when they found her. And yeah, so my sister called me up and she's like, do you want a furry gray kitten? And I was like, I didn't even have to think about it. I was like, of course, like, yes. So the next day I drove to her house. She lives like an hour away and I picked up Pixie and I've had her ever since. And she is such a little joy. Like at first, I'm not even gonna lie, like she, I didn't know if she liked me. Like I was like, it was definitely really hard to like get adjusted at first because she was like technically a feral kitten. So it's been some adjusting, but she's honestly come such a long way and I'm so grateful to have her. And I always knew that I was gonna adopt a kitten once I moved to this apartment and got settled and everything. Like I was definitely planning on adopting a kitten. So this really just worked out perfectly. The fact that she was basically just handed to me and I've always wanted a gray long haired kitten. So it honestly was just like fate at that point. I was just like, yes, I need to adopt her. She is so freaking cute. She has returned. Okay, so basically in this video, I wanted to show you guys some of my recent thrifted home decor finds because I have been so inspired lately and I'm just really excited about everything that I found. So I wanted to show you guys for inspiration if you guys are also wanting to thrift more home decor in the new year. So I'm gonna start off with a piece that has been inspiring me so much lately. I don't know, I really don't know why. I can't like put my finger on why, but it's just like, it's so beautiful and I just, I think it's so cool. So this is basically just a vintage chessboard, but when I saw it, I just saw so much beauty in it. I found this a few days ago and I just thought it was such a cool, unique piece. I love like the bright, it's not even like, it's not necessarily neon, but it's definitely a very bright, bold color and I just love it. Do you like this pixie? Okay, I don't think she's gonna stay up here. She's just gonna do some exploring. Maybe she'll come back. You know, we cannot, we cannot control what Pixie does. That is for sure. You cannot tell Pixie what to do. I also found two other art pieces. They're right here and I will do my best to show you guys them. Kind of hard to show because of the ring light. Okay, there we go. I was so gravitated towards the colors. I love, it's like a light peach color and I don't have anything like it. So this piece just really spoke to me. I thought it was such a unique find and it already came in the glass frame which is super nice. This is gonna probably go in here, either here or in my bedroom. We will see, but super excited about this. Okay, so we took a little break and I played with her, so now I think she's kind of calmed down now. But yes, moving on to this next piece that I found. It was actually during the same trip that I found this art piece. And this one I almost love even more, if not like the exact same. But let me show you guys how cool this piece is. It is again framed really nicely. I've been really loving like larger pieces of art. I have had in the past a lot of smaller pieces, but I've been really into the big oversized like art pieces. And I think I might actually style all three of these pieces in like a collage on the wall. So Stay tuned for that. I think they might actually go in my office. Next up, I found this planter and I was very drawn first off to the color. I love this periwinkle color. I think this is like honestly my new favorite color. It is so beautiful. It's just like, uh, I just love this so much and I love the design of it. I don't know if I'm gonna use this for a traditional planter or not. I actually had my, let me show you. I actually had my disco ball just like sitting in this. I don't know if this is the vibe, but I kind of like it for just like a random 
little decor but i do think this would look cool with a plant that was like flowing down and this was on like a shelf i feel like that would be super pretty so i found this for four dollars and i love the look and shape of it i think this is just such a fun piece and definitely like a staple not a staple what is it called a like a standout piece i just feel like this is such a fun kind of conversation piece if you will like it's just not like something that you would find at a regular store i feel like this is just like such a cool unique find next up i found this beautiful candlestick holder and i just was so drawn to this it's i believe this is an onyx stone that it's made out of and i just loved the shape of this i thought it was so beautiful and i already had this candlestick and i feel like this just matches really nicely with it and it just goes perfectly i actually found this at a local boutique it's called midwest rustic so if you guys are ever in the area i will leave a link to probably i think they i don't know if they have a website but i'll just like leave a link to it if you guys are interested if you ever are in town and they were only selling it for $12 which I feel like is such a good deal so I definitely had to scoop it up and I looked these up online because I was trying to find a second one so that I could have a pair and these were going for like $50 so I don't know I think I might try to find one out in the wild somewhere but if I eventually want a second one I know I can find it on Etsy or on eBay, they sell ones like this that are like at least pretty similar to this. Next up, I found this super cute little bowl and I loved the shape of this and it kind of looks like a flower. And I just thought this would look really cute just sitting styled on a bookshelf or on a table somewhere. And I couldn't pass it up because it was only $2.30. And I don't know, I was very drawn to it. So I had to get this, I think it's super cute. Next up, I found this little bowl it's not i don't even know what you would call this it's just like a metal bowl i guess but i got this from an estate sale and it was two dollars and fifty cents it was originally five dollars but they were doing half off that day and when i saw this i pictured filling this with fruit like lemons or oranges especially during the summer i feel like i want to be one of those people who just set out lemons and limes and i just think it brings a nice fresh look to your space so i got this i thought this was super nice and i like the shape of it it's not just a normal round shape like i usually see so got that next up i found this little glass bottle and i'm pretty sure i found this during the same estate sale trip that i found the last thing but this was a dollar so i'm pretty sure i got it for 50 cents because it was half off but i okay so i have been collecting these blue bottles for probably like six or seven years so i have a few different ones like this so i was so excited to just find another one and add it to my collection eventually i will style it super cute on like a shelf or something but i did not realize until i got home that there is a chunk of glass missing from the bottom that could have been so dangerous like i don't even know when this happened if i just bought it like this or if it broke while in transport to my house like i don't actually know but it's very dangerous so i'm gonna have to do something about this i think i'll probably put like hot glue around it so that it's not you know gonna hurt me but either way it's super cute and i'm glad that i found another one to add to my collection okay i have one last thing to show you it's rather heavy but let me see if i can grab it here she is i actually have two of these i could not carry the other one because it's very heavy but this is a light that I found on Facebook Marketplace for free. The guy was going through his basement and he just put it up on Facebook Marketplace and listed it for free. And I somehow found it within like the first five minutes that he posted it. So I replied right away and I said I would come and pick them up. So when I got them, they were actually like very yellowy and I actually went ahead and spray painted them white. And I feel like it looks so much better that way. It's very crisp and clean. And let me see if I can plug this in really quick. So there's actually two settings on this. There's the brightest one, and then there's a little bit more of a dim setting. I was trying to do some research online to see what era this was from, and I didn't find that much information, honestly. But what I concluded is that this is an indoor-outdoor light because this is actually plastic, and then the little like on and off switch is outdoor safe this would actually look so cool outside so if i had i don't have like a deck or anything like that but this would look so nice as like an outdoor light but i think i'm gonna just try to style it in here for now but how cool is this like i was so excited to find this for 
zero dollars yeah this is the other one this is a little bit bigger and this one is a little less yellowy on like this part so yeah this is your sign to not sleep on facebook marketplace because the fact that I found those for free was just honestly the highlight of my day. So that is all the decor that I have thrifted lately. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really thought Pixie was going to sit here the entire time. I don't know why I thought that because she's a kitten and she's kind of just like all over the place. But let me go see if I can find her so that she can end off this video with me and you guys can see her one last time. Hold on one second. Okay, Pixie came back to say goodbye and to thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you guys want to see more home decor hauls in the future. I have been so into... Oh, we're going to just sit up here nicely. Wow. Very end of the video. She's finally sitting up there. And I wanted to leave you guys with one last thing because I was thinking the other day that I do not tell you guys enough how much I appreciate your support. And just whenever you guys leave comments or even if you don't leave a comment and you just watch all my videos, I wanted to say a huge thank you. And it really means so much to me. I know I'm not very consistent with my uploads and sometimes I go like three weeks without uploading. And it's honestly, it pains me a lot more than I'm sure it pains you guys. Like you guys are probably just like whatever, like whenever you want to upload. But for me, like I hate not uploading. And I feel like the last, like especially last year, I've really kind of lost myself in my content. Like I haven't really loved anything that I've been putting out. So I definitely feel a really good energy coming this year though. Like I feel like I've done a lot of inner work and just like figuring out what I actually like and what I want to create. So I'm really excited for this new year and what it has in store for me and for this channel. So I hope you guys, if you aren't subscribed already, that you will subscribe because I have so many fun things planned and I'm excited to share them with you. And just to end off this video in the most iconic way possible, I'm going to leave you with this video that I took a pixie the other day. And this is just, we're, we'll just end the video off like this.